types of crops. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on post notifications so that you guys know on a video that I upload. Today we're going to see topics which are what is crop, types of crops based on their uses, types of crops based on their growing season, essential agriculture practices. What is a crop? A crop is a plant or plant product that can be grown on a large scale and harvested for profit or subsistence. The source from which food and other items necessarily to be exist are obtained. India is considered as the top producer of many types of crops. Based on their uses, crops are divided into different types. Three main types are food crops, fiber crops, oil producing crops. Depending on the seasons, crops is divided into three types, namely Karif, Rabi and Zaid crops. Now we'll see types of crops based on their uses. Food crop. Food crops are subsistent crops that are meant for human consumption. They include fruits, vegetables, grains and tubers like potatoes. Some of the food crops are rice, wheat, maize, corn, cassava, plantains, potatoes, sorghum, soybeans, sweet potato and yams. Fiber crops. Plants grown to produce fiber for textile, cartridge, filling and paper. Some of fiber crops include cotton, hemp, jute, flax, cor, milkweed, coconut, husk, coir, nettle. Oil producing plants. Oil crops are those types of plants which are grown mainly for the oil they produce. These plants can be processed and broken down into their primary components, including oil. Oil plants also supply the raw material for biodiesel production. Some of the oil producing crops are soybeans, sunflower seeds, rap seeds, konala, peanut, almonds, palm, cotton seed, groundnut, oliver, coconut, maize, sesame seeds, castor oil plant, and mustard. One more major type includes cash crops. Cash crops are agriculture crops that are planted for the purpose of selling on the market or for export to make profit as distinguished from subsistence crops. Well-known cash crops include coffee, tea, cocoa, cotton, and sugarcane. Types of crops according to season. Carf crops. The crops which are sown in the rainy season are called karif crops. The rainy season in India is generally from June to September. Paddy, maize, soya bean, groundnut and cotton are karif crops. These crops require a good amount of rainfall. Karif crops are grown in wet and hot conditions. Karif crops, also known as monsoon crops or autumn crops. Example, cereals. Jawar, maize, millets, rice. Fruits Almond, apple, apricot, banana, cantaloupe, chikku, coconut, dates, fig, goa, jamun, lichi, rijigad, mango, muskmelon, sweet orange, pomegranate, plum, pear, palsa, papaya, peach, sarda, walnut, watermelon. Seed plants, black gram, urdal, turdal, cotton, cowpea, green gram, mung, groundnut, cluster bean, moth bean, sesame till, soya beans, fennel seeds. Vegetables, bitter gourd, karela, bottle gourd, brinjal, chilli, green beans, okra, sponge gourd, tinda, tomato, turmeric. Rabi crops or winter crops. The crops grown in winter season, October to March, are called rabi crops. Rabi crops include cereals, barley, Bengal gram, rap seed, mustard, oat, wheat. Fruits, almond, banana, beer, date palm, grapes, grapefruit, kino, lemon, mango, mulberry and orange. Seed plants, chickpea, kulti bean, lobia, cowpea, lentil, mung bean, pigeon bee, toria, ur bean. Vegetable, bean, beetroot, 
பிரிஞ்சால் ப்ரோக்கலி கேபேஜ் கேப்சிகம் கேரட் காலிஃப்ளவர் சிக்பி பெனோகிரி கார்லிக் லெட்டிஸ் பீ ஆனியன் பொட்டேட்டோ ரேரிஷ் ஸ்பினாஷ் ஸ்வீட் பொட்டேட்டோ டொமேட்டோ டர்னிக் ஜெய்ட் கிராப்ஸ் Zaid crops are summer crops. They grow for short period between the Kharif and Rabi crops, primarily from March to June. The season during which the Zaid crops are primarily grown is known as the Zaid crop season. Zaid crops require warm, dry weather as a major growth period as well as longer day lengths for flowering. Some crops require summer months and rainy seasons. These crops also tend to mature quickly. fruits like watermelon musk melon cucumber strawberry vegetable and other crops bitter gourd fodder pumpkin cluster bean ahar pigeon pea masur lentil and sugarcane we are going to see next topic essential agriculture practices what is agriculture the cultivation and production of crops and plants and raising of livestock for economical purposes and human needs is called agriculture essential agriculture practices agriculture practices are actually a set of principles that must be applied to agriculture fields to get better agriculture products agriculture activities like preparation of soil sowing irrigation protection of crops harvesting threshing winnowing and storage let us see each of these activities in detail the preparation of soil is very important because it plays major role in seed germination before the crop is grown three major steps are carried out for the preparation of soil namely plowing leveling and manuring preparation of soil plowing slash tilling It is a process of loosening soil and turning the soil by using a plough. The tools used for ploughing the land are plough, hoe and cultivator. Preparation of soil leveling. Leveling helps in breaking big lumps of soil. It also protects soil from erosion and improves water absorption during irrigation. Manuring. Mixing soil with manure helps soil fertility. Sowing. The process of inserting the seeds inside the soil is called sowing. There are different types of methods to sow a seed. A few methods are listed below. Broadcasting, seed drilling and transplantation. Broadcasting. Broadcasting is the method in which seeds are sown manually by scattering those in the soil. Seed drill. A seed drill is an iron tube with a funnel at the top. Seeds are poured into the funnel and then released in soil furrows. Transplantation. In this, seeds are first sown in nurseries and then the seedlings are transferred to the main field. Example: paddy. Irrigation. Water is the major requirement for plant growth. Water supply through various methods for the growing plant is called irrigation. The modern method of irrigation includes drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation for a better supply of water protection of crops weeding the process of removing weeds is called weeding these are unwanted plants that grow along with the main plant and also can be harmed they can be removed manually using hands or by using spray of weedicides protection of crops from pests Crops must be protected from pests and heavy rainfall or natural calamities like floods. The lack of protection leads to lower quality of crops. Pests can reduce crops yield and bore inside the crops. Harvesting. Harvesting is the process of cutting the crops after it is matured. Harvesting is done by two methods: manual harvesting and mechanical harvesting. Manual harvesting. Sickle is used by humans to harvest crops. mechanical harvesting huge machines called a harvester is used for harvesting threshing threshing is the method of loosening the grains from the chaff or husk after the crops are harvested it can be done manually or by a machine to separate all the grain seeds 
winnowing winnowing is a method of separation of seed grains from the chaff using the help of wind due to wind the lighter chaff flies away and the heavier grains fall storage storage is the final step of agricultural practice the harvest grains are stored in a warehouse for future use and selling purposes Therefore, a better plant protection process must be used to protect grains from rodents and insect pests. Cleaning, fumigation and drying are done to warehouses before the grains are stored. The grains are later transported to different places throughout the year. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.